Hi there everyone, Josiah here with Womp Rat Creations with this week's show and tell. This is continuing the long series of revealing my Return of the Jedi Boba Fett cosplay piece by piece. And over the last two weeks, I showed you the cod piece. I showed you the girth belt that kind of goes over that a little bit. This is the last waist one, I promise. This is the last one, but it might be the coolest. Um, I know that you can't really see the majority of it, but this is Boba's ammo belt that also has uh, his second set of uh, cargo pockets. Uh, I don't know. He has the uh, two cargo pockets on the jumpsuit that are like in the middle of the thigh. They're like. Yeah, middle of the thigh. Then he has two more cargo pockets uh, that are actually attached to his, his ammo belt, just like this. They're a little different. I mean, these are, um, they're a different color than the flight suit. Um, they are their own pieces and it's more of like a off-white, almost tan color. Um, and you can see I kind of dirtied them up a little bit, but they sit on the uh, on the belt, and they actually are kind of offset just a little bit from. Uh, they're not right in front, but they're not totally on the sides. They're kind of coming off at 45 from them. So the way that I attach these to this belt um, is, I actually have a secondary belt in the back, and I know I <laughs> I don't remember where I got this belt from. It was probably. Goodwill or something like that. Um, so it's a reversible belt. This side is like lime green and then this side is a darker brownish black color. And I have the bright green strip towards the inside when I'm wearing it. That way if this peeks out a little bit, you don't really, it, you just see the, the dark brown which kind of goes with the rest of this. Um, the main belt that you see, which obviously I just used some Velcro to, uh, to attach that to make it really easy to put on because let me tell you, wearing this cosplay is a chore. Getting into it is a chore. Um, the one time that I wore the majority, not even all, but the majority of this costume, my wife and I were standing outside in the cold and she was helping me put it on for a good 30 minutes or something like that. It's difficult. So anywhere I can make it a little more easier, like Velcro, I'm gonna do it. Um, but the main belt that I made this out of, I actually don't even know what kind of belt this was. I know I got it from a military surplus store. Um, that's unfortunately as specific as I can be, but it's not, it's not canon, that's for sure. It's not an accurate belt but you don't really see much of it when you're wearing the whole thing because he has these ammo pouches that go all along the front and uh, and you I mean you're not really looking at the back of Boba too much and when you are you're probably looking at like his, his jetpack so it's not really it wasn't a big to do for me I know that I got these pouches which are also not the most accurate out there, but they're okay. They're made out of, they might be pleather, but I mean, I'm pleased with their construction. They're all uh, usable. And I, if I remember correctly, when I wore this, um, I stored my phone in one of these pouches just because it was easy for me to get to while in the costume. Um, but uh, I got these pouches off of Amazon and they were, actually meant as Boba Fett pouches um, and then so they were already kind of made for this they're not the best quality out there they're kind of costume pieces but they looked close enough and then once I got them I took some uh, sandpaper and just kind of roughed up the outsides a little bit just to give them a little bit of weathering and I'm actually not sure what some of these paint pieces came from, but I'm totally okay with them. That totally fits the look of Boba. So 
I'm not really worried about that. That's one of the lovely things about Boba's costume and really anything from Star Wars. The more beat up your stuff gets, the better it looks. Star Wars is a used, worn, lived in universe. And uh, so it makes it really easy to, when one of your pieces gets damaged, it's just bonus weathering. Um, but no, I this piece is out of all of the midsection, or out of all of the waist sections of Boba, his cod piece, his girth belt, and then this, this goes on top of everything else, and it's, in my opinion, the coolest. The girth belt was pretty cool, but, I mean, how can you get better than ammo pouches, right? All right, well, thank you guys for tuning in for this week's show and tell. Next week, we'll be moving on from the waist, I promise. All right, thanks guys. Until next time, I'll see you later. Hey there, superstar. You just watched that whole video. I don't know how you did it. I can't listen to me for that long. Um, you deserve something awesome in return for listening to me talk for that long. Uh, you can head over to WampRatCreations.com and pick yourself up some awesome Womp Rat merch, just like this Tatooine travel shirt that I'm wearing right now. Looks pretty nice, right? Thanks, guys. Five three to upper bay door. Five three to upper bay door.